7 Steps to Managing Your Memory What's Normal, What's Not, and What to Do About It by Andrew E. Budson and Maureen K. O'Connor. Forgetting. Does any of the following apply to you? You make a special trip to the garage and then forget why you are there. You've met the same person five or six times but can't remember his or her name. A few days after you go to the theater to see a movie, you can't remember its title or plot. You routinely misplace your wallet, keys, glasses or watch. You have trouble remembering where you parked your car just an hour ago. Few things, are as upsetting, depressing and anxiety provoking as being aware that one has memory loss and worrying about Alzheimer's disease. If you can relate to these or similar experiences, how do you account for them? You're likely to blame the aging process, senior moments, memory derangement, Alzheimer's disease or some combination of these conditions. If such episodes indicate a brain or memory disorder, how do you recognize and treat it? Do you make dietary changes, adopt a different lifestyle, get more sleep, do crossword puzzles, or engage in other brain exercises and games? Although you may feel worried about having memory problems, today there is more we can do to diagnose and treat memory problems than ever before. With the proper guidance and assistance, you can determine if your failing memory is the predictable effect of the normal aging or if you are experiencing or are headed for a serious memory disorientation or impairment, perhaps even Alzheimer's disease. The right diet often can help, as can exercise, specific leisure activities and the proper mental strategies. Medical professionals have an increasing number of diagnostic tests, treatments and medications that can assist in identifying and managing your specific condition. If you find you need significantly more time and effort for routine activities that rely on thinking and memory, it is a good idea to get your memory checked out. Additionally, taking seven basic, practical, accessible steps can help you help someone who is memory impaired, improve and maintain your memory, or handle memory issues you may encounter. Learn what is normal memory. Whether memory loss is normal or abnormal depends on the severity and frequency of the loss. To illustrate, forgetting where you parked your car is a common mishap for many people, but having to search for your car for more than an hour isn't normal. Preparing a list of food and other items to buy at the supermarket is normal. Buying numerous wrong items despite having a shopping list isn't normal. When one has memory problems along with anxiety or depression, it can be difficult to determine which problem is primary and which may be secondary. Even if you have proper brain and memory function, you can still experience memory problems. For healthy people, most memory issues are attention issues. If you don't pay attention, you forget things. Stimulants such as coffee can help you stay attentive. As people age, their frontal lobes work less efficiently. The frontal lobes manage memories and determine where to focus attention. Improving your memory by paying closer attention suggests that your brain works fine. Determine if your memory is normal. Alzheimer's disease sabotages the functioning of your memory by negatively affecting the hippocampus, the part of the brain that forms and retains new memories. The brain's cortex, or outer layer, also affects memory, and it offers, more permanent, storage than the hippocampus. Memories are frequently distorted, mixed up with other memories or otherwise confused. Rapid forgetting, suggests Alzheimer's disease. Rapid forgetting occurs when someone asks a question, learns the answer and then asks the same question again. The affected person may frequently leave water running or leave a burner on the stove turned on and unattended. People with Alzheimer's often exhibit additional memory problems, such as, getting lost, losing things, trouble with planning and organizing, and difficulties finding words. Most of us find it easier to pay attention when we have a mild stimulant such as coffee, tea or a caffeinated soda. To assess the severity of such problems, determine if they interfere with the person's life. If the answer is positive, have a neurologist, a physician who specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of brain disorders, assess his or her condition. The neurologist will use blood work, 
brain imaging and questionnaires to evaluate the issues at hand. Understand your memory loss. Your knowledge of your family history of memory loss issues can be useful. Have any of your family members suffered from Alzheimer's disease, dementia, senility or hardening of the arteries? If so, you may be at greater risk. However, memory loss might be reversible and may involve factors you can control. One of the most common causes of memory impairment is the side effects of medications. Alzheimer's disease is the cause of dementia about 70% of the time, which is why people often confuse Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Failure to get enough sleep can undermine your memory. People need deep sleep and rapid eye movement REM, sleep. Menopause might interfere with a woman's memory. To date, scientists have been unable to determine with 100% certitude that changes in estrogen and progesterone due to menopause cause memory loss in women. Such memory loss may occur simply because the women who experience it are middle-aged. Many people notice memory problems when they reach their middle years. Approximately 50% of individuals with mild cognitive impairment show declines in thinking and memory that leads to dementia, at a rate of about 5% to 15% per year. Illegal drugs, including marijuana, can cause memory loss. Alcohol, which can damage the brain, also harms memory. Limited alcohol intake will likely do no harm. A small amount of alcohol daily can actually reduce the risk of memory loss and Alzheimer's disease for some people. For others, even one drink can make it harder to store and retrieve memories. Besides Alzheimer's disease, older people who experience memory problems may have other brain disorders or impairments in their thinking. These include 1. Mild cognitive impairment with mild cognitive impairment experience problems with thinking or remembering, but they can function and manage most of their affairs, including paying bills, shopping or taking medicines. 1. The causes of this condition include depression, anxiety, thyroid disorders and other issues that can lead to dementia, such as Alzheimer's disease and strokes. 2. Subjective cognitive decline. This condition brings a noticeable reduction in a person's ability to think and remember. 2. People who exhibit these problems are more likely to experience a diagnosable memory disorder within 5 to 10 years. 3. Dementia. Dementia disrupts thinking and memory. Those who suffer from it eventually lose the ability to function on their own. Treat your memory loss. Medications can help minimize the thinking and memory problems associated with Alzheimer's disease. But they can't alleviate the worry, fear and anxiety patients feel about losing memories and the ability to think clearly. These feelings affect people who haven't been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease but who fear their current memory problems may signal its onset. Illegal drugs impair thinking and memory, and many damage the brain, some of them permanently. Treatment for Alzheimer's disease can focus on the symptoms, such as thinking and memory problems, or it can focus on the causes of the disease. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, hasn't yet approved disease-modifying therapies for Alzheimer's disease. Generic donepezil works well with mild cognitive impairment due to Alzheimer's disease and with people who suffer from Alzheimer's dementia. Other medications that can help treat Alzheimer's include the generic drugs, galantamine, rivastigmine and memantine. Modify your lifestyle. Some lifestyle changes can boost your memory, cut the risk of a memory-related illness or potentially, slow down the decline in memory. The brain's health depends on the body's health. To address memory worries, your diet should include omega-3 fatty acids from fatty fishes such as salmon and tuna, walnuts, green leafy vegetables, flax seeds and flaxseed oil. Raw cocoa also improves brain health. Look for dark chocolate that's at least 35% cocoa, but the higher the better. Difficulty recalling names is one of the most common problems that healthy older adults experience. If the difficulty is only in recalling names for people and places, proper nouns, then it is usually normal. 
Vitamins may also help improve your memory, including vitamin D, which is essential for brain health, and perhaps D3, depending on your doctor's counsel. Tuna and salmon are good sources of vitamin D. Ask your physician to check your vitamin B levels, including vitamin B12, since vitamin B deficiencies can cause memory loss. Clams and liver are good sources of B12. Other sources include, fish and other shellfish, meats, milk, yogurt and fortified foods. Fruits and vegetables are both good sources of antioxidants, including vitamins E, C and A. Not paying enough attention is the number one reason that healthy individuals experience difficulty remembering names, events and that thing you went into the other room to get. A balanced diet foments physical and brain health. The Mediterranean diet, for example, includes fish, vegetables, olive oil, avocado, nuts, fruit, beans, whole grains, including bulgur, barley and brown rice, and red wine. The mind diet may help protect against Alzheimer's disease. It calls for fish once per week, berries twice a week, poultry twice a week, nuts and beans every other day, green leafy vegetables daily, other vegetables daily, wine, a 5-ounce glass, daily, olive oil daily and whole grains three servings per day. Exercise can also be helpful. Plan on at least 30 minutes of aerobic exercise every day. Strengthen your memory. Companies that offer anti-aging brain training products and services operate in a super growth industry that's on pace to achieve $4 billion to $10 billion in annual sales by 2020. These firms manufacture and sell brain training games and related products that supposedly improve memory and boost the thinking processes. Memory is transient. Things we remember don't tend to stick around forever. However, in 2016, the U.S. Federal Trade Commission reported that many companies make unrealistic claims. The FTC fined some firms for fraudulent practices. Don't waste your money and time on such products. They do little to improve brain health. What does work is engaging in new activities that move you out of your comfort zone such as starting a fresh hobby, learning how to do something new or traveling to a place you haven't already visited. You could find a class or learn a new sport. The most productive activities have mental, physical and social components. Spending a large part of your time watching TV may actually move you closer to eventual dementia. Plan your future. How must someone's life change if a neurologist confirms a physical memory impairment or disorder? Practical suggestions include 1. Get help from family or friends when investing and managing money. Memory dysfunction may affect your financial judgment. 2. Avoid telemarketers. Register your phone number with the National Do Not Call Registry. 2. Unfortunately, some hucksters may still call. 2. Monitor and manage all calls through caller ID. 2. If you don't have a phone with this feature, get one. 2. Only answer calls from people you know. 3. Invite a family member or friend to go for a drive. People with brain disorders may be unsafe drivers and should ask a trusted person to ride with them on local trips. 3. This friend or relative can assess whether continuing to drive is a good idea. 3. The patient will want someone else to make this judgment. 3. When it comes to driving, people are seldom objective about themselves. 4. Take care of legal matters now. Someone whose memory is in jeopardy should have a legal will and should designate power of attorney to a trusted relative, friend or professional. 4. This person should also have the power to make health care decisions. 5. Give away guns and power tools. These are dangerous hazards for people with brain disorders. Get the support you need. Look for resources that provide good care. Visiting nurses and home health aides, as well as Meals on Wheels, may enable people with fading memory to stay in their own homes. Take a ways. 1. As they age, many people become increasingly fearful of Alzheimer's disease. 1. 
This is a legitimate concern. 1. Every elderly person could be at risk. 2. People of all ages can become forgetful. 3. Implement a seven-step program to control and optimize your memory. 4. Step 1. Learn what differentiates normal memory from impaired memory. 5. Step 2. Establish whether your memory works properly. 6. Step 3. Discover the causes of memory loss. 7. Step 4. Find the most effective ways to treat memory loss. 8. Step 5. Learn how to change your lifestyle to improve your memory. 9. Step 6. Determine how to build up your memory. 10. Step 7. Figure out how to adapt your life in the years to come to accommodate any future memory or thinking problems. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.